If you've had your TV or radio on the past 72 hours, then you no doubt have heard countless tales from people about brushes they had with the late, great Muhammad Ali. Here's another one. Grand Rapids artist Herschel Turner, an amazing athlete himself. He was drafted by the 76ers in 1960, played in the ABA, was a member of the Grand Rapids Tackers. He also played for the Harlem Globetrotters. That's where he first met Ali. He was asked to toss the ball up to, to start our game. And uh, like a kid might do, he tossed the ball up to the ceiling of the arena. <laughs> and everybody just roared. That's one of many classic stories he shared with me. Well, sometime between 1971 and 81, we think it's 79, Herschel didn't exactly recall. He said uh, he was commissioned to paint a mural of the champ. He met with Ali at his mansion in Chicago. The mural was titled Three Crowns from the three heavyweight championship belts that Muhammad Ali won. This was a big honor for Herschel Turner because Ali was one of his heroes. I had considered him... Uh, an idol of mine when he refused to go to war. It kind of struck me as an unbelievable gesture, and he was sincere about it. At the time that he was coming along, I was coming along also in my career. Back in the day, only three black guys could play on the team. This is even in high school. It was, it was really weird that this man stepped out during his time and made the commitments that he made as a black man. Mm -hmm. Not as a fighter, but as a black man. Herschel says if they were ever to build a Mount Rushmore for important black men, he'd like to see it feature Ali, Jackie Robinson, Nelson Mandela, and Dr. Martin Luther King.